పెరివా శరణం దస్పేక్త పరమాచార్య కంటిన్యూయేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెడిటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద గాడెస్ వీ నో ఫ్రమ్ ద హిస్టరీ వెన్ క్రిస్టియానిటీ ఆర్ బుద్ధిజం ఆర్ ఇస్లాం కేమ్ ఇన్ టు బీయింగ్ బట్ క్యాన్ వీ సే దట్ పీపుల్ వెర్ స్టీప్డ్ ఇన్ టు ఇగ్నోరెన్స్ ఆర్ అజ్ఞాన బిఫోర్ ద బర్త్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ రిలీజియన్స్ దట్ ఆర్ సమ్ హూ సే లైక్ దాట్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ద ట్రూత్ they call that period as dark age but history tells us that the vedic religion existed in those ages it had existed all over the world the veda existed everywhere but the veda and vedic knowledge dwindled and we are now in this predicament it is all due to our shortcomings the meditation on the lotus feet of ambal is the only way to make our religion develop if we keep on chanting gayatri or panchaksharam or ashtakshara as ordained for everyone there will be no need to think about other religions without observing the principles or following the tenets of our religion which is based on the vedas our religion will not grow or improve if all people involve themselves alike at least one or two will attain wholeness then through them we will prosper our religion will prosper it is the duty of all of us that we do meditation we can have a self examination through the dreams we have in our sleep our dreams will reveal whether we are pure or otherwise for a man of real bhakti and devotion dreams will come as if he is meditating on the goddess or having her darshan for a person who makes a show of meditation he will get bad dreams where he will be enjoying sensuous pleasures dreams will become the touchstone for our real devotion and bhakti our religion has grown with bhakti and meditation even after crores and crores of people having gone from our religion it has existed and developed what is the reason for all this maybe there is a great soul and his presence is a great blessing to all it infuses in people a faith and a feeling of bhakti we cannot follow a different religion in order to develop our religion since our religion is not made for that if a tree brings forth flowers bees will swarm there on their own nobody need tell them to go to that tree if one of us becomes whole and attains purnatva then we need no one to preach or propagate our religion to others it will grow of its own under his ages we can well spend our time in meditation that will purify us all and no harm will come to our religion if today our religion suffers it is not because of any other religion it is because of our shortcomings and our failure to do our daily rites and duties that is nitya karma anushthanam diseases attack when the body becomes weak our weakness is at the root of the disease that attack us how many of us chant panchakshara or do shiva puja or chant ashtaksharam in our daily life perhaps a few observe these as we preserve books in a library it is a long time since we have discarded our nitya karmas and anushthanas this has resulted in the decay of our religion and this is the basic reason for the entry of the alien religions into our country all should meditate on goddess ishwari and her lotus feet 
that too for the well-being of all mankind lord shiva and parvati manifest themselves in one form that is roopam as ardhanarishwara the well-being of the prapancha or universe the same brahmam takes the three forms of brahma vishnu and rudra in the saraswati ashtotara we have the namavali brahma vishnu shivatmikaye namaha and the same is explained in the lalita sahasra nama where goddesses lalithambika is dispensing the threefold functions of creation preservation and destruction the same parashakti as lalita parameshwari is srishtikatri gotri and samharini srishtikatri brahma roopa gotri govinda roopini and samharini rudra roopa tirodana karishwari it is goddess who performs all the three duties of the creator preserver and destroyer to perform these three different duties she takes three different forms of brahma vishnu and shiva we should realize this and devote ourselves to the meditation to the feet of goddess only then can we preserve our religion and not otherwise we can restore our religion in the status of being the universal religion as before if one of us becomes pure and attains purnatva though we wish that our religion should prosper and grow we cannot go and fight for it telling that we are all brothers and sisters simply in words will not serve any purpose we must all get a feeling and a conviction that we are all children of one and the same parent we should all have that emotional unity kalidasa proclaims i salute the universal parents lord parameshwara and goddess parvati we must realize this fact and deeply believe it we have our animosities and differences only till our realizing the about truth once we realize the about truth there will be no room for any anger enmity and hatred among us we will begin to love everyone as our brother and sister whenever we find our shortcomings we must pray to ambal and meditate on her lotus feet and request redemption from such blemishes and also wish that we don't get such blemishes in us at any time in future our miseries will vanish if we do our nitya karma and meditate on the feet of goddess no one of us will ever have any suffering we preach and give lectures with the earnest hope that let there come a mahatma in any one generation so that the whole mankind will benefit by this coming this is just like an unlettered person preserving the books of knowledge in a library with the hope that it will be a help and service to the future generations it is with this earnest wish and prayer that we do this kind of propagation and we give such lectures meditation of the lotus feet of ambal is the only solace to all mankind and it is the one unfailing source of redemption for all humanity periva sharanam